I'm Michelle Field. I'm with the Pepperdine College Libertarians. I'm the president of the College Libertarians, and we had a free speech wall for Constitution Week. Welcome to Profiles in Activism. September 17th is Constitution Day, celebrating the anniversary of the signing of the U.S. Constitution at the Constitutional Convention. Michelle Fields, president of College Libertarians at Pepperdine University, saw an opportunity to use the holiday to promote freedom of speech. Michelle led a coalition of politically inclined student groups in the construction and maintenance of a free speech wall, covering the wall of a campus building with paper and providing markers for passersby to write whatever they wanted. Pepperdine has a lot of free speech restrictions, so I thought that if we had a free speech wall where there was absolute free speech, this would be something that would draw a lot of attention to and would, in effect, like make people um, understand and acknowledge that it's Constitution Week. So I think that, would, that was probably the best project for the audience that I was working with, the students I was working with. Um, I think that there were some comedic comments on there, which of course comes with freedom of speech, but for the most part, I was really impressed by how serious some of the comments were. Of course, we had silly comments, but there were also really substantial comments. The event was the talk of the campus, spawning three different articles in the school paper. Despite the success of the event, it required only about a week of planning. That's because Michelle did a good job using the resources available to her. Pepperdine makes paper available to student groups for free, and she paid for the markers herself. Michelle says that her choice of issue made coalition building easier. I think we'll just focus on an issue that everyone can agree on, or as many people can agree on. I mean, don't pick something that, I mean, don't pick something that not everyone's going to agree on, like ending the Federal Reserve. If you want to build a coalition, you need something that everyone can, be, can sympathize with and want to advance. To get permission to build the wall, Michelle figured out who she would have to answer to if the event caused problems. I went to my, to my university website and just went through the different departments and looked for whoever was in charge of disciplinary action. Well, I figured that if this was up, the person who would end up contacting me is the person in charge of disciplinary. So I figured that this is probably the best person to go to because if, if someone was upset about it, they would go to him you know, to reprimand me. After identifying the correct person, Michelle sent a quick email and everything was ready to move forward. I made sure to email him to make sure that I wouldn't get in trouble for this and that this was something that Pepperdine wouldn't take down if we put it up. And now I just explained to him what it was and he said that Pepperdine was committed to freedom of speech. Great idea. Sometimes you need to seek out a sympathetic administrator. Who you ask permission from matters. Don't be afraid to go over someone's head or around them if you think they won't be willing to back you up. If it's something that you think is going to be controversial, just send an email to someone in the administration that you think may be receptive towards this event and save that because that, I mean, if something ever happens, you have that that said you are allowed to do it and you can sort of fight it. You have something to back you up. Of course, no event goes off without a hitch, but sometimes that can work to your advantage. Yeah, the evening before Constitution Day, someone tore down the wall. Like, it ended up furthering our cause, I think, because so many people were talking about it on campus. Um, the, our school newspaper covered it, and it ended up being the most viewed article in the whole history of their entire uh, website. And Everyone on campus was talking about it. Professors were talking about it. You could go anywhere and students were just like debating whether they thought we should have freedom of speech. The night that it was torn down, um, everyone on Facebook was sort of talking about it at our university. And I was contacted by different organizations, the College Republican, students from the Democrats and from the, from the Green Party. And they were like, we want this up. We will help you do it. So it was really easy. I'm just like, okay, meet me tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. here and we'll put it back up. With just some paper and markers, Michelle got her campus talking about free speech. Activism doesn't have to be a big, difficult production to be effective. Another thing to take away from Michelle's project is how community involvement was structurally built into the project. I hope you've drawn inspiration from this edition of Profiles in Activism. For Bureaucrash, I'm Grant Babcock. Take heart and flourish, freedom fighters.